We're here. We're podcasting. Yes, we are. We're going to do part two of, um, you know, the list of relationship topics to debate. What's wrong? Yes. No, I'm just so jacked up and pumped. You're so jacked Focused. Up. I'm going to get the whole podcast. We're going to talk. I'm not going to yawn once. Right. I don't believe you. It's going to happen. I'm totally zoomed in. I'm focused. I don't believe I'm ready you. to roll. Okay. Crush it today. We left off. Let's see. Like I said before, I'm going to jump around on some of these because some of these I don't really like. Um, well, if you don't like it, just throw it out. Well, I mean, it's this. This one says. I mean, this is just stupid to me. Has your relationship changed since you began dating? Well, I should hope so. You should grow as you get older and as you stay. You know, the years that you are together, each year you should grow. You should. There's so many different ways that your relationship can change. So there could be negative ways. There could be positive ways. Right. And there's some things about the relationship I think that would be nice that didn't change. Because, you know, when you first start dating. You want that lovey-dovey, like, honeymoon yeah. phase to last forever. Yeah, like But the it flirting. usually doesn't. You usually have to get a girlfriend or boyfriend after a few years, right, to keep that going? Um, no, sir. <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> Maybe it works. that's how it works for you. No, no. I'm just, just having a little fun uh, with you. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, that, I think that part does change though. You, you, I think that as you, the years go by and you're in a relationship, then you get married and the honeymoon phase is over. I think that stuff unfortunately fizzles out. You have to get creative. You have to get creative. And it go, if you're going to be with someone for a long time, there's ebb and flows. I think that's what they call it. Yeah. Like a jet ski. It's what I like to call it. Like jet, a jet ski. Your relationship's like a jet ski ride. Sometimes you're in an inlet. Sometimes you're in the ocean. Uh huh. And sometimes you're you're you have your girlfriend on the back of the jet ski, and you decide to throw her off in the middle of the ocean. Do you remember that day? <laughs> I do, but you were so close to you got to be so close to a to a, to a manatee. A, was it a manatee yes, or a dolphin? No, it was not a dolphin. It was a big monster in the ocean. Here's so what happened. Cool. Okay, let me just tell you all the backstory. We're gonna pause here. So we go to Daytona, and we're just dating at the time in college. And I was a little rowdy back then. And he wanted me to get on a jet ski. Now, mind you, I don't like being in the ocean past my ankles. That's okay? true. That's I true. don't like swimming in a river. I don't like swimming in a lake. And I don't like swimming in a pond. I don't like wading in a creek. Okay? You like pools. I like a pool. And hot tubs. If you could jet ski in a pool, I would think it would be amazing fun. So it's not the idea of being on a jet ski, but it's the idea of if I come off this jet ski, I'm going to be in the middle of the ocean. And he says to me, oh, no, no, no. I would never do that. <laughs> the back of my mind, though, I was like, I'm going to break her. She's going to be totally comfortable with the ocean water after we get it, done with this. Yeah, that didn't work. I said, if you throw me off this jet ski, I swear to you, I will not speak to you the rest of the day. So what happens? I open it up. We're just flying, which was a lot of fun. But I'd been doing it all day, and I finally got you on there. And <clears throat> I think I told you to hold on, but you didn't hold on tight enough. And I skidded it like I turned it. I was going to flip flip the back end around, and we went sliding, and you went flying off of the jet ski. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. And so I land into the middle of the ocean, and I'm not even kidding. And I'm frantically swimming back to the jet ski where Jeff is still on. And there's this big manatee. And I'm like, oh. It was so cool. I knew it wasn't a shark. So I knew, you know, I don't think it was going to hurt me. But it wasn't like, mm. oh, this is so cool. I'm in the middle of the ocean and there's a manatee. But no, I was freaking out. So I swam really quickly. And your uncle was out there. And I, he said, what did he say about getting on... He said something like, you were already on there. And it was like, I got on the back. I don't remember what it was. He was trying to get me back in the ocean. And I was like, I don't care. Oh, because you were, yeah. I don't remember. <coughs> I don't remember what happened. But anyway. I think he wanted, he wanted, I don't know what it was. But yeah, I remember that. And you, I don't remember. Wanted, you weren't having it. I was so mad. I, and I'm not, I don't think I talked to Jeff the rest of the day. I was livid because I felt like he did it on purpose. I did. I know, and I and, and so that, I don't know why you're so mad. Why but, you got your little hair wet? Big deal. No, I didn't care about my hair. I don't <laughs> like being in a body of water with creatures. It, it was the inlet. It wasn't a big deal. It was still ocean water. What kind of water is in the inlet? Inlet ocean water, water with no creatures? No, there's creatures in there. There were some creatures. Yeah. There's some dolphins that day. Some manatees. It was really neat. So I was really mad. So you think I trust him? No, I do not. 
I, I, I didn't talk to him mostly. His cousins thought it was funny. Everybody thought it was hysterical. I was not in the mood. I was mad. I was mad at the world. I, I think I was. I think I was though. hitting you, on his back all the way back. I was get me back to the truck right now. She was. was so mad. Yeah, she was not happy that day. I don't like being in water with creatures. It was the same way when we went on the cruise, and I thought, okay, it's clear water. Therefore, I think I'll try to snorkel with you guys. Yeah, Remember snorkeling that? was fun. No, right? it wasn't. It, I lasted all of thirty seconds. So I get the gear on, and I get down, and there's like. Reef. That's what he did. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> And I get down and I put my face in the water and I see all the beautiful fish and they start swimming around me and I panic. I climb back out. I cut my toe. Remember? Oh, you did cut on your like toe. the side of the reef or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, you're moving a little too quick. I got out of there so fast. My toe was bleeding. I got me a coke and I was like, "Y'all have fun." I found out I was pregnant with Brooke that day. It was in the uh, Caymans? No, it was in Cozumel. Cozumel. Yeah, and uh, That's right, remember, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I suspected I might be pregnant. I, I, I planned for this, so I had a pregnancy test on the cruise because I knew if I don't start this day, then I'm probably I'm going to take this test. So it was that day I had been in the salt water. Now, mind you, before my body was not in the salt water, so it wouldn't have mattered. But I went right. back to the, I went back to the ship, did not shower, yet took the pregnancy test and it ruined it. The salt water. From my area, I guess, where I was in the salt water, right, damaged the test. So it like, <clears throat> it was I can't explain you. It was just like a, it did something weird, like bubbled up. I don't even know, like it disintegrated almost. I was like, oh no, Jeff, get off the boat, go back over to Mexico, get me another one. You're like, and the boat is going to be. I said, you better hurry, because like when I want to know something, I want to know. It wasn't like, oh no, big deal. I'll wait till we get back to land in three days. No. Right, yeah, you go you now. Me. And so he ran off anyway, brought it back. It was in Spanish, and it was like, I was like, is it just basic, whatever? And then I took it, and it was positive. That's when we found out I was pregnant with Brooke the day that I tried snorkeling and cut my toe open. Cool. This is good stories. Which, which it happened to be Thanksgiving. That's true. It was. Mm-hmm. It was Thanksgiving. It was fun. It was a fun trip. Yep. 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 Okay, where were we on the list? Oh, I'm so what, sorry. What was happening? I, I'm so sorry. You don't have to be sorry. I'm trying to guide us. No, I'm trying, I'm trying to guide us back to the, water and back to the, okay. back to the list. Um, so basically, <clears throat> yes, our relationship <clears throat> has changed some and it hasn't changed some, I feel like. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. But we've definitely matured. <clears throat> we've definitely grown. With jealousy's gone away. You know, those things that we had at the beginning of the relationship because we were 15, 16 years old when we started dating. Of course, some of those, in, you know, those stupid, like, high school issues have way faded. And yes. we've grown. We're much more you mature know? in our in our jealousy and stuff nowadays. Well, of course, you get jealous from time to time. Sure. But instead of right. getting jealous but and acting like an idiot, different... you talk it out. Right, and it's not over the same thing. Right. It's not silly. It's not as silly anymore. Right. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's that. Do you agree with that? I agree with that wholeheartedly. Right. Me too. Um, this is dumb. But Here's another dumb question from the relationship Have you had a very debate. bad nightmare? What was it about? Why is this a topic to debate? How can you debate a nightmare? Just skip it. Okay. I, we can talk about... That's really that's a whole, dumb. That's a, yeah. You know what I want to do? I want to have an ongoing thing talking about dreams. I love okay. dreams. And I wish I could find... We'll call it dreamscapes. Okay. I want to find or a something dream better. analyzer or a dream interpreter. Oh, is there's there no, some, they're all bullshit artists. They're like psychics. <laughs> Why are you looking at because me like that? Because dreams are not bullcrap. No, the dreams aren't, but the people that are telling you, that they mean... They, no, they, maybe they, they study know. the psyche yeah, of your brain. they study it. Like, the, maybe. Oh my gosh, whatever. Maybe, but come on. Um, house husband. Good or bad? What the heck is a house husband? Are we are we we're debating this? Like, is it good or bad to be a house husband? But what is a house husband? It's it's like a, a stay at home dad, I guess. It's a husband no, that stays I at don't home. Think so. I think that's what it is. A house husband. It's someone that doesn't work. It's the only thing that makes sense. Jeff, I don't think you're right. I think I'm right. I think I'm right on this one. I'm gonna look it up. House, house husband. I'm telling you. Husband. It's, it's a it's a guy who stays home. That's a stay at home dad, or is it a stay at home husband that doesn't? A man who lives with a partner and carries out household duties traditionally done by a housewife rather than working outside the home. Boom. You're right. Um, Okay. So what do you think about it? I think it's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Would you have a problem 
Okay, so what if you were a house husband? So basically, like I said, it's stay at home dad, but without the kids. There's no kids, so you just do the right, right, right. laundry, or kids, the dishes, whatever. or yeah. cleaning, or whatever. Right. Would you have a problem if I had a cash job that made hundreds of thousands of dollars and I was the breadwinner and Hell you no. could stay home? Would you? No, think about it though. Would you have an ego? Not, I don't mean ego, and would you have a pride issue if everybody knew Jeff stays home, does everything at home, and she makes all the money? No, because I'd start my own thing and I'd have my own thing on the side, like having fun. Kind of like I'm doing. Right. But the thing is, is it, it let me tell you about this situation. <clears throat> For me, it all depends on my partner. Okay. So like if I held it over your Knowing head. Knowing it's you, I would never have a problem with it because we're so equal in everything. We don't, it's not about money with us. Well, too, and I wouldn't like make you, you feel a make certain me type feel of way like, about it. Like you wouldn't if you come around and be like, "I'll work all day, and you're here, and you should no. have avocados cut up and sliced, well, no, and me so a nice. beverage waiting on me, and you should have your hair fixed for damn sake, for God's sake, whatever." You know what I mean? Like yeah. that stuff. If you didn't, that. But that's so. still stuff in private. I think that too. Like if you would go out and you would kind of like poke fun of it, like well, I make all the money, so you know what I mean. That would be ugly that would too. be yeah. Or if you ever like made if it was if people joked about it and. You kind of pile and I up on the it. person that's staying home like it's a bad thing. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. I don't think that, I think if you're a team and someone has a kick ass job and you agree as a team that, hey, for our lifestyle, you don't have to work. Yeah. You don't have to work. You don't have to you, you stay home, man. Right. And and do your passion, whatever it is, you know, be, be, right. you know, I, I that'd be awesome because, you know, I would be like, let's, let's go to a city where I can do stand up comedy. And I could make nothing at it because I would love to do it whether I was just subpar, decent, whatever. You know, right. it'd just be a fun thing. Right. Might not make anything at it, yeah. but it would be fun to be able to do it and not have to worry about making money at something like that. Are you telling me to go out and get a kick ass job? No, no, no. I wouldn't want you to do that I unless mean, I you would. wanted to. I mean, if, if, it, if, <clears throat> if there was, I don't think there's but anything. But you know, I, it would be hard for me not to work at this point in my life, you know, with no kids and stuff. Yeah. For me, it would be like, if you had a kick-ass job, I would continue to work, and I would be like, let's freaking stack some cash for about 10 to 15 years and get a beach house. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. if you had that, if you made that kind of money where I didn't have to work, that just means that's so much more money we could put away. I, I feel like there needs to be a reason for, for me. You know me. I'll work till I'm 80. Right. There needs to be... There would have to be a reason, a purpose for me to stay home. Right. Right? Right. It just would have to You'd be. You'd have to be doing something. You if I just... start my own business, but right. I want to be working. I'm probably going to, if I start my own business, I'd be working harder than I would anywhere else. Right. Right? I mean, because it would take everything out of you to have your own business. I think we both agree on that. Like, so, yeah. I think it depends. I, I was just trying to say it totally depends on how I would feel and how my ego would be. Because men have egos and they have to have them if they're going to be. Everybody has egos, not just men. But. Whether it's a man or a woman, I know the man, it's a man thing. I mean, it depends on the partner and the support and the team aspect of it for me. Yeah. To answer your question. I agree. Okay, this is a good one. If women claim to be equal to men, then they should run in the same tracks with men in athletics. No, that's stupid. No, but, but listen to it. Oh, what it no, say no, at the no. beginning? No, 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 listen to it. If women claim to be equal to men, yeah, they that's they're just, not equal to men. No, that's as far stupid. as that, I don't goes. mean it in a bad way. I don't either. I'm because I don't think men are equal to women in a lot of areas. Right. But we were made differently. We not were all made of differently. us. Not all of us. There's women that are bigger than men, but on average, I think average that, men are bigger. That's why it's scarier for you. If you're if you're in a situation where you're alone in an elevator with a larger man that could get aggressive, it's not good. No, it's for not you. good. But if I'm in an elevator with an aggressive woman, it's like I'll be able to I'll be able to take you know right. handle myself if she starts throwing punch. She's right. not just because of my size and just because of the way I'm built as a man. I think she could hurt me. I'm not saying she couldn't hurt me, but sure. I think physically she might not be able to force her way on me. Right. I think physically, generally speaking, men physically are a stronger species, right? Now, there yes. are some, we've kind of talked about this before, there are some men that I could whoop their ass. Well, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. But, but if you line also, up 10, 
there's, exactly. there's going to be a couple out they're of ten. Ne- oh, yeah, of course. Maybe. Of course. Because so even physically. if they're the same size as you, a lot of times they're still physically stronger. They're physically stronger. They're Just they're like a you have bigger species. legs than me. I do. But I feel like on like leg press, I can I still got a lot of strength. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. I've not the... tried to press your leg press. Right. But um, but yeah, no, my legs in and of themselves measurements are a lot bigger than yours. But no, I agree. Just like there's it, physically, women and men are not equal. I'm sorry. I could be strong as some men, yes, but not the average man. It's just logic. It is logic, and for and women to say okay. that they're physically equal, no, no, we're not. Now, we are equal when it comes to work, when it comes to what we can do, like, in the workplace, intelligent-wise, like, think, like in, the intellect. I think that we're equal. We should be equal in the workplace. We should be treated oh, equal God, in the workplace. Oh, God, yes. And they are. Women are smart. I mean, there's, please, so many more women that are smarter than me at what I do. You know what right. I mean? That are better than me and more right. successful than I am at what I do. Much more women. Right. There's no doubt about that. Right. Everybody... When it comes to the workplace and all that, absolutely equals. But my thing is, let's take, are you telling me you're going to take the best woman UFC fighter? Right. You take Amanda Nunes, Nunes, whatever, how you ever say her name. She's the best. She's a beast. She's a monster. Take her. She's going to get her butt kicked by a guy that can't make that that is that is that you've never heard of. Mm-hmm. Forget fighting the best no, I, guys. I totally agree with you. Forget fighting the number one guy or the number two or the number twenty guy. Yeah. Those guys, it, it wouldn't even be a talking point. No, I totally agree. It's just not fair. Right. So, but but if as a woman you walk to a track meet and you say I am as equal as a man, then yeah, I think you should run the men's thing. Then show us. But here's the stu- you know how ridiculous that is to say? I think it's say? very ridiculous. Because I'm not equal to all men. No. It's not fair to say but I'm not equal to all men. I'm no, not but, equal but, to oh, to a to a freaking No, you're not, but if you go to a track meet, you're going to be put in the men's division. I'm going to be put in the women's division. But if I walk in and say I'm as equal as a man, then okay, go ahead. Yeah. Then you can go over there and if you think you're as equal as a man and you don't want to run with the women, go run with the men and, and get embarrassed. Right, you're, we're talking mostly physically here. I'm talking we're physically. We're talking physically, right, right. Yeah, I'm talking physically. Now, I'm not saying that there is not a specimen out there that could run track with the men and keep right up. Oh, there's women that I'm can I'm saying bust the house on here. average. On average. On we're average. not talking about superstars. There's some exceptional people out there. Right. Um, but for me to go into the gym and say, I'm just as strong as a man, and a man puts 245s and tries to bench press them, I can't do that. Well, that, and I'm a strong girl. You're a strong girl, but it's bone structure. I've never it's seen the size. a woman. It's, it's, well, yeah, I have, it's but evolutionally how you were built. Women can do it. I've seen them do it. But they I'm can, just saying but they're, tra- they're, they're anomalies. Right. They've trained, and they trained to do that. To do that. They've taken things mm-hmm. to get there, just like right. men have created great feats because they've trained and they've overcome, you know, mm-hmm. whatever they've had to do. But th- that's the big debate, and that's the problem now with what they're saying about these. There's so many instances now. Or transgender have mm. have and that's where I they mean, don't, they they this guy has this this woman for thirty years of her life she was a she's she's a man then she 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 switches gender and she goes in and she's slaughtering women in fights. Oh, it's not yeah. fair. It's not it, right. It isn't. It's, it's just so weird it's, because it's not equal. you still have the genetics as a man. You've been a man for thirty. We years. We can identify you as a woman, and we have no problem doing yeah. that. But then. It, it really isn't necessarily that fair until uh, now. But wait, when you do hormone replacement, that might change things. Now you still got that structure. I don't know, do you? you? The, 30 years, it doesn't go away. You're still going to have the same physical stuff that's building you. I, I can't imagine. I, I don't know. I'd have not to for talk this to a person. doctor They're about monster, that. They're yeah. monsters. Oh, the yeah. Then that's not, woman. yeah. Yeah. Just dominating women that have been that undefeated, is. killing everybody. I don't know how fair that is. And then they is. come in and slaughter them like they're nothing. You know yeah, what I mean? I don't, just I don't not, think that's right. No, it's, it's not. It's just not that's, right. Not that we're trying to not respect your decision to become a woman. That's all fine and well. But there's still some things that you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, moving on. If you could be any character in a book or movie, who would it be and why? I would be Mary Poppins, hands down. Oh, that's right. I mean, hands down, I want to wear the dress. I want to have the bag. I want to fly it on an umbrella. 
and I want to be able to do magical things. Basically, she's tripping the whole time, but nonetheless. She is, she's on mushrooms um, or something. No, I, I think that she is obviously practically perfect in every way, and I would love to be Mary Poppins. That's why. Because I can open my bag and pull out anything. She pull, Do you see what she pulls out of her bags? It's impressive. It's impressive. It is. It's pretty neat. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, what do you, who would you be? That was who, easy Who for would me. I be, a book or a? A book or a movie. A book let's or Let's even movie. say a show. Shoot, let's change it up. A character. A character. Yes, Jeff. You can't answer that right away. No. Wow. I'm trying to think of a character. Open up your imagination. I don't know. Maybe James Bond. James Bond? Maybe. Because uh, he gets all the ladies? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of like. <laughs> oh, I see. No, it's ex- it's it's exciting. It's adventurous. Bond. Bond. James Bond. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to think of. of I don't know. I'd probably just be Matthew McConaughey in anything. Oh yes. Any time to kill. Oh <laughs> gosh. All right, this podcast is over. No, I'm just kidding. He. Oh my gosh. Matthew McConaughey in A Time to Kill is probably the best male movie character yet. You think? Oh my gosh. Yes. It's a long time ago. It was. When was 96, that? 96, 97. We were in college. We were in college, yeah. That was before I was lustful. You were secretly lustful. I was probably. You were a good Christian girl. You didn't let anything out in the open. Very wise. Oh my gosh, yeah. Anyway, that's that's a good character to be. I like it. It's a good one. Yep. Um, okay. I'm going to skip that one. If you won the lottery... What is the first thing you would buy and why? What would I buy? Yeah. Or what would you do? I mean, if you won the lottery. Of course, probably. Hi, Nate. First thing. Nate, if you won the lottery, what's the first thing you would buy? Finish my room. Finish your room? Decorating your room? A lot of LEDs for the, the, the... The kitchen, the living room, the basement. Make a movie theater in the basement. You're not wrecking our house, bro. That's not wrecking your house. He's putting LEDs, man. That's not yeah, wrecking the house. Yeah, it's not wrecking. It's making a So you'd better. finish I the basement into a movie theater? Did you break this? Where's your charger? Mine's not good, trust me. It's taped Don't up. Don't make mine bad. How? It's not my fault. Go take my charger and go charge your stuff so I can get my charger back. All right, back. cool. All right. Um, what would you buy? What would I do? Buy Nate. The, f- the first thing I would do if I won the lottery, if I won multiple million dollars, I would protect myself and my family from my stupidity. So I would take that money and I would find somebody that I trusted as an investment advisor and I would have them invest it and I would start making interest off of it monthly. More money probably than we'd ever make anyway. Live a good life, take a chunk, then I'd buy something. I don't know what I'd buy. I I'd like pay it. off the house. Pay off all the bills. Pay off pay the, the house, house. Pay off the cars. Pay off the cars. Pay off I'd probably get a badass car. Yeah. Like a freaking very a, prob, probably get me a um. What are they called? I don't. Why know. did I go blank? Why would I go blank? How, Tesla. Tesla. I'll probably get a Tesla, and that's probably I, I would probably just. Yeah, because we have a nice house. We have a great house. I'm like I would Nate. Pay I'd finish off. the basement. I'd finish out my gym the way I want it. Oh, I'd, I'd hire pimp, somebody I, to come I'd in. I'd pay it out and I'd pimp it out to get a contractor to yeah. come in and I have, I'd have the house built out the way I need it. I want it, I want to have somebody and come then, and say, this is what I want. Now you go do it. I want this color here. I want to paint this. Do the floors here. Drywall this. Make this room. Finish this out. I, I, oh my gosh, that'd be so great. Great podcast studio. Yeah, well, and we have space for it downstairs. We do. We have, we have plenty space. of space we in this house. We just have the money to finish we, it I, out the basement. Right. Well, it's not finished, yeah. Well, yeah, it's part of it finished, but the podcast room that I'm thinking of is not finished yet. No, it would be it's awesome. Just, it would be. So, yeah, I think I'm, we're on the same page with that. Um, so, yeah. Now, this is this is uh, one that we've talked about before. I'd take care of all my people, too. If I won, if I won the lottery like they, they pay now or you're winning... What do you mean take millions. care of all your people? I'd make sure all of our family, everybody could get their debt taken care of. Yeah. I wouldn't pay them. I would, they wouldn't be like on a payroll. Yeah. But it would be like, hey, let's yeah. get people in a place where they don't have to stress about yeah, money. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I like that. Um, is it okay to marry an elder lady? 
An elder lady? Yeah. What's an elder lady? I don't know. You gotta be very careful with that. Yeah, because it sounds. Because elder lady sounds really, really like I'm getting it. That might be my lottery ticket, right? Maybe that's well, true. Um, elder elder lady sounds like she's getting ready to go into the nursing home. Um, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we talked about this there before. Um, depends. I think there's an age. I could not. We've talked about. I'm getting not too into... old. I'm getting too old to date older. Okay, but it doesn't say that. It says, "Is it okay?" Sure. I think it's okay. Let's just say it's absolutely we went into this okay. on a different podcast, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we won't go deep into this. But yeah, it's absolutely but okay. But I think it's okay. It's not asking if I want I, to. It's asking if I it's think okay. That it, sure. If, you're, if, if both if of you're you are love, over the age of eighteen, you know, twenty-one, I guess eighteen, twenty-one, doesn't matter, whatever. I don't care how old you can marry whoever you want. Go, go do it. Do you? You can marry whoever you, you want. If you found it love, matter. yeah, money, whatever you found, it doesn't do matter. It. Do what you do. Man, woman, older, younger, as long as you both are legally aged. Do it. Right. Just do it. Just like Nike. Go Just do, do it. it. I wouldn't think anything. I wouldn't even if if, if a twenty three year old married a fifty three year old, thirty. I, well, we're talking about girls here. Remember. Okay. We're talking about an older girl, if right? It, so a twenty three year old dude marries a fifty three year old guy. Whatever. No, twenty-three-year-old guy marries a fifty-three-year-old woman. Right. There's a. Yeah. I mean, it's a, does it mean I would do it? No. But yeah, I'm just saying, really if I was fifty-three, weird. would I marry a twenty-three-year-old kid? Really, no, I really wouldn't. Really weird. It's okay, but it's weird. It's okay, but it's 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 strange to me. Yeah, a little bit. Um, ooh, is kissing cheating? <laughs> is kissing cheating? That's what it says. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you don't even have to kiss. It can be an emotional affair that's cheating. When you when you get your attention taken, and yep. you you disconnect from your primary relationship, and you start to your primary relationship. I'm just saying, in this situation, there's oh, okay. obviously okay, another. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see right? what you're saying. Right. Yeah. So you've obvi- you, now you've moved on, and you have entered an emotional space with someone else, which is huge. Some to some people, that's a bigger, that's more hurtful than. Hooking up with somebody or See, kissing I don't, them. I don't think so. I think that the ultimate, I would have a lot better time dealing with it if you came to me and you said, okay, I kissed another girl versus I screwed another girl. What that if I came to you and I said. Sex is like brings, it's a different. Oh, no. no, you misunderstood. Maybe I did. Yeah, I said emotional versus the kiss or the sex. If you found out I'd oh. kissed a girl or hooked up with a girl and I told you versus saying been talking to this girl for six months and we like have these that we have a thing like we're like totally into each other we have you know emotional level we're connected i think it would hurt but there's something about when you do that with a person it just it's there for you know what i'm saying it's like yeah yeah it's a it's a it's a thing you know so i i think that yes i would have a trouble with that and i wouldn't like that you had an emotional deal going on but that's I agree 100 percent, but that, I'm a dude, so I just wondered from a woman's aspect. So that that's I'll, just I'll me. note that I'm different though right. from a lot of women. Right. Like a lot of women might not agree with you're me. You're more like a dude. Yeah. They might say no, no, no. That would be. But like if you, yeah, if you came to me and you're like you said, I've been t- I've been chatting with this girl for you know six months. She's funny. We get along. We you know da 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 da. But I haven't done anything with her. Then I would be like that sucks. But if you came to me and you were like, I've been hooking up with this girl. Like, well, I don't true. really, like, I'm not really, like, into her, like, emotionally. Like, she's kind of even annoying. But we've hooked up for the last six months. I would be like, oh, God. Like, that that hits different to me. That's just to me. No, that's how I feel, too. Because I think you can come out of, like, an, an emotional thing. Because sometimes that's just, like, I don't know. You just can't take it. I don't know. You just can't take it Once back. Once you cross and, that physical line, You just can't take it back. Rough. Yeah. It is rough. I, yeah. I, I mean, I guess. But I'm just saying. I just, I don't know. I wouldn't I would like think. either way. But I think kissing is definitely, yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't, though. A lot of people don't think it's cheating unless you actually have sex. And I do not agree. Oh, I had one. What, what, I wanted to listen to that one. One. <coughs> I don't know what it was on. I don't know if I heard it on Instagram or TikTok. Or, on, or maybe it was on a podcast. It was, it was hysterical in a way. <laughs> there is a guy, and he was adamantly arguing that getting his dick sucked wasn't cheating. Oh, it's like, gosh. it's just oral. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't sex. It ain't cheap. 
See, uh, but a lot of people think that, and I would like to have somebody on the podcast <laughs> to debate that with. You and I agree one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. If you're doing it or you're getting it that way, you, it's cheating. Sorry, you, I can't deal with that. If you are going, and baby, doing she's just giving anything, me head. anything with, you know, physically, physically, or even even really emotionally, like you said, that is cheating to me. It is. Yeah. Now I might argue. I might argue chatting. Like, if you came to me and you said that you were chatting with a girl, I would not necessarily think that that's cheating. I think that that's treading waters, and it's not a good idea. You're getting and it's in a not bad okay. Space, it's not okay. But I would no. never say, you know, if you and I could work it out and everything, I, or even if we didn't, I would never say Jeff cheated on me. You know what I mean? I don't think that is cheating. I think that's it's lying. I think it's sneaky. I think, I think it's anytime not you're nice, hiding information, like you're you're scared to. I don't think it's cheating anytime though. No, but it's you're there. You you're, you're jumping you're off the dive. You've, you've climbed you've yeah. climbed the ladder off the on the diving board, and you've walked to the end. Yeah. And you're you're jumping. You're just waiting for somebody to pull you in. You're waiting Absolutely. For somebody, you push you off. The, I don't the think diving that board. even if you told me that you sent nudes, I don't think that's necessarily cheating. I think that's just treading in water. Where if you don't stop. Gosh, that's scary. Me sending nudes. That's, it yeah. must stop. It might get. You're walking down that line. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like you're in the grocery store, but you haven't really checked out. So, like you're in the grocery store and you're walking down the aisles. You're shopping, but you haven't actually made the purchase. So if you left right there, you can be like, yeah, I was in Walmart, but I didn't buy anything. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, you were there. You did those things, but you didn't cash out. I think doing anything physically is cashing out, and I think it is cheating. But is but here's where you get into the discussion. Is betrayal cheating? I think be, Because no, you're betraying I don't your think partner it is. if you talk I, I to somebody behind their back. I don't think that that's cheating. Because that other person now betrayal. knows that you're... I know, but I still don't you know think it's I mean? cheap. I wouldn't. I. This is just me. Right. I right, don't think right. there's a right or wrong answer. No, no, I'm not I saying think it's there your per- is. I think I'm it's just your saying opinion. if you think betrayal is cheating, then yes, it's definitely cheating. I don't think. Cheating. I don't think betrayal is. I think that. I think that it has to be some sort of physical connection. Or. Well, nowadays really you almost deep have to feel that way because I'd say a lot of people were. It's a bad place to be with social media. Yeah. It's very, there's social a lot of temptation media, out there. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. I can't even imagine. I'm, I feel so, because listen, I'm just going to be honest. I, I feel so blessed that we grew up and like went through the scary part of our, our relationships are scary all the time, but like the beginnings, the fragile parts of a relationship sure. without social media, without yeah. internet, without anything like that, because so many distractions, we were totally focused on each other. Right. Who knows what would have happened if we would have had social media. We yeah. might've, have, we might've have gone in separate ways. It's absolutely. Do you, you know what I'm saying? It, it increases the odds. It would have made things a lot easier for us too at the same time because we lived apart in the summers you know, it made that part easier. But at the end of the day, I'm so glad we did it how we did it because I think it makes us who we are today. Now, we do have social media today. And, you know, people, we get DM slides. You do. I do. And, and sure. that's there's scary things like that. But we're... And now we're, I know that I can talk to all of them. I feel a lot better about that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I wouldn't be hurt <laughs> or upset. But I wouldn't be like, you cheated on me. I'm done. Because right. that's not true unless you did, which to me would be anything physical. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The problem is, is if you do find out that some, you've been talking to somebody behind your back, you're going to assume that they've been physical with the person. You can assume, but that doesn't mean that they necessarily did. No, but it could, it's going to create a lot of problems for you and your partner. Absolutely. Because they're going to lie about it, and you're going to say you're going to lie about it. You know what I mean? It's Absolutely. going to be one of those situations yeah. no, where it's I like, agree. It's, it's not it's a good idea. It's just going to be just, yeah. It's yeah. a good question. It's it a is good a good deba- question. It is a debate. question. Because I think that there's going to be sure. a lot of people who agree and disagree. Some people think, like, if you even speak to someone else and in a no, manner of no. then, then, no, I don't mean we that. Got, like, we got to make sure we understand what speaking to somebody else is. I don't mean, like, is. just saying, hey, how are you? Or no, it gets I to mean, a like, definite where you're, you know, you shouldn't, it's crossed a line. Right. You're, you're, there's been, there's been, there's been flirting or it's, it's starting to get. Consistent. You're chatting with them every like day. You're telling them about your life and your concerns. Yes, and, and stu- you're confiding in them. They're confiding in you. That, I mean, that's a line. I still you, don't know that that's They're feeding you a bunch cheating, of conf- but- compliments, and you're feeding them back. You're sending pictures. You know, that kind of stuff. And then it's getting into a space it's getting where, a little tricky. Uh, very tricky. Yeah. You're getting into places, waters that you can't, you know. Right. You, like, start out in the shallow, and you don't even realize you're in the, you're like, 
Mm-hmm. I can't touch anymore. Right. You know? How'd I get here? Yep. I mean, but... I agree. But some people think that's cheating. Some people don't. Some people think, like, that guy, like, unless there's penetration, it's not cheating. And I do totally disagree with that. Yeah, that's not a good rule. I would be living... You're going to have a very tough time surviving that, that yeah. argument. Yeah, for sure. With most people. Very, very true. All right, so next time we have this... Uh, we continue this list. We're on number 22, which is actually a pretty good it's one. It's going to be hard to forget what we just talked about. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we'll be, we'll be able to remember. Okay. Well, there All right. Go. Well, fun times. Fun times. That's it. Peace out.